<laughs> Labor Day weekend travel rushes on this midday. And before you hit the airport, we've got team coverage on everything you need to know. Yeah, meteorologist Gary Hall timing out that forecast, keeping an eye on those flight delays for us. But first, let's go over to NBC Bay Area's Ginger Connor Harrell Sob. She's live over at SFO this midday. And you know what? I would imagine it's pretty crazy out there. The lines don't look too bad, but I can see some lines behind you, Ginger. <laughs> Yeah, they're not too bad, Marcus, but it just put a smile on my face, imagining, dreaming about all the places you could go for $60 million. All right, we are at SFO. The times have gone down a bit this uh, midday compared to how they were this morning. They are now under 10 minutes at this security checkpoint in Terminal 1. Nonetheless, SFO is the busiest airport in the Bay Area, and starting today through Tuesday, the airport is expected to see more than 930,000 passengers pass through. That's almost 9% higher compared to last year. Now we spoke with one San Francisco man who says a Labor Day travel rush won't keep him from getting on a plane to Michigan. My godson plays against uh, Michigan, the number one team in the country that they won the championship last year. So Fresno State, this is his first year starting at cornerback. Oh yeah. So I said if you start, I'll be there. It's college football season. Don't be surprised if SFO and San Francisco feel and look busy this holiday weekend. According to AAA, San Francisco is among the top local destinations this Labor Day. It's joined by New York, Boston, Denver, and Chicago. Now, domestic travel up 9% compared to last year, with travel costs down 2%. Europe is a top destination for the upcoming holiday. Eight of AAA's top 10 international travel destinations are in Europe, including Paris, Rome, Barcelona, and Dublin. International travel over Labor Day, however, is down 4% compared to last year. But whether you're traveling domestically or internationally, don't forget those TSA rules because it might set you back a bit getting onto your flight. TSA is expected to screen a record-breaking 17 million passengers. That being said, Bay Area airports are bracing for the influx of travelers this weekend. Oakland's airport, the San Francisco Bay Oakland International Airport, estimates that 200,000 passengers will pass through the airport from today until Tuesday, September 3rd. Their busiest travel days will be tomorrow and Monday. Tomorrow is also expected to be the busiest travel day down in San Jose, Mineta Airport. Uh, both San Jose and Oakland advise travelers to plan for your parking ahead of time. Actually, that is the same tip as well coming out of SFO. Now, speaking of taking your car, if you plan on driving to your Labor Day destination, today and tomorrow are expected to be the busiest days. And AAA says try to leave before 11 o'clock so you avoid the rest of the daily commute and rush hour commute. We're live at SFO, Ginger Conajero-Sob, NBC Bay Area News. A lot of folks are going to be out and about. All right, thanks, Ginger.